They're like 4,000, I don't really care, you know, right? But if I actually look at data, that does actually impact things. People do click more often when those types of numbers are shown, right? There's social proof. So everybody kept telling us and kept telling us and kept telling us that that was valueless to them. So you're like, okay, well, kill it, kill a feature. But actually, once you ship and learn, it, do, it did a value and it does have value, right? So I think it's incredibly hard. Um, so this is the process that I basically want to hurry up because I, want to, I think we're kind of short in time. So, oh, this isn't working, I forgot, all right. So basically, this is the process. This is going to look, for any of you guys who like, think of lean startup, lean UX, this probably looks very, very similar, probably not a coincidence. So first of all, build a hypothesis. There is so much social science research in the world. Like, if you want to understand identity or how people think about themselves, you don't need to do more research. There is so much research in the world. There's so much research being contributed every single day from social science. Nobody, I can't keep up. Nobody can. Right? You don't need to do more stuff unless it's really, really niche. Do literature reviews, understand the social science space, understand the patterns and things that we already know, and build a hypothesis, and do that fast. Second is build a simple product as fast as possible. Launch it publicly in the world, because then it's gonna use people's real identity, and it's gonna use their real friends, and that is critical. You cannot, if you build prototypes, wireframes, and kind of fake some of the social data, you can't get reliable um, information about that, right? It's like, oh, you know, when people suddenly have their real friends and their real content, all the stuff about the relationships that's been generated for decades, in, in many cases, comes back. And it's like, oh, well, I, uh, I, actually, I wouldn't add John. And I'll tell you what, I, guess I hear this in research, I wouldn't add John, because actually, John knows Jim, and two years ago, basically, Jim went into this baseball match and didn't invite John. And what happened, right? And like, oh, okay, I get it. Right? You, can't, you just can't systematically study that stuff. So for me, it's better to launch it. It has people's real identity and real friends, and then you will learn very, very fast whether it works or not. And people often say to me, I'm afraid to do that. Like, what if our product has no users or is embarrassing? If your product, when you launch it, has no users, that is not bad. That's pretty good. And the reason is because you can start iterating and learning in real time. Okay, so the fourth is to simply measure and iterate analytics, now you can do primary research, you can start to do research, qualitative research to understand why. Right? You have what, you have how, and when you start to see patterns, you can kind of dive in and start to understand why. And the final thing is to build it in such a way that you can push code and push changes and do A-B tests and multivariate tests every day. Right? At Facebook, we push code twice a day. Right? For a company of our size, for any developers here, that is like pretty phenomenal. Right, you need to push code all the time to make changes all the time. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I, I don't know if you're tired after that. I'm certainly tired. Um, this is